What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the vintage Cubert. We're doing it. I mean, God, I love a consecrated Sphinx, but I think a Mana Vault is better, right? You ever Mana Vaulted? I mean, I want a Mana Vault. Have you guys ever Mana Vaulted? Vault that mana, that's what I always say. Oh, oh, and then we're going to get past an Oko and a Grimonolith. I mean, we're Okoing for sure. This is beautiful. This is the most beautiful, beautiful thing I've ever seen. So we could use that Mana Vault to vault into a Consecrated Sphinx, but the problem is that we'll never see that Consecrated Sphinx again. And if we do, well, that'd be just, that'd be just, that'd be, that'd be cool. Ever try that Vanna Malt down at the soda shop? I never have. But it sounds... So delicious, really. It's just so good, you know. Um, I'm either on Tundra here or just Lana War Elves to help this Oko come out a little earlier. Tundra is nice because it's. I'm gonna take the Tundra, I think. Oh, and we get past a flooded strand. Well, that's just. That's just beautiful. Well, we're definitely taking Flooded Strand here. Nothing in here is very good. I like a Liliana, but we do have not the mana to support it. Let's just take Faith's Fetters here. I think Faith's Fetters is a totally reasonable, uh, you know, card to, card to play. We could also get a Teferi, which would be pretty sweet. Giver of Runes is okay. Badlands is kind of nice. We could have Bloodbraid and hit Oko. I mean, as for on-color stuff, I guess we could take Dismember here. I kind of like Dismember, actually. We have a lot of life gain. Still holding out hope for the 10,000 years of arms dip. Buddy, I believe in us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do I open? Um, I mean, I think we're just taking Lumbering Falls here. It's a fixing land. I mean, Cosima's fine. It's not that exciting, but eh, it just could be fine. I'll take a Cosima. I don't. I don't hate Cosima as a. as a thing. Um, let's, let's just take Blade Splicer, actually. Actually, maybe it's Razor Verge Ticket. Let's take Razor Verge Ticket here. I think fixing is a little more important here. Vindicate's interesting. Hmm. What if we just take Hero of Blade Hold? Play it on turn two with Mana Vault? Sure. Whatever. This deck's gonna be unconventional. We're unconventionaling. I mean, I think our mana is very good so far. Um, you know what? Flicker Wisp. I'll take a Flicker Wisp. What are we doing here? Guys, to the surprise of no one, Consecrated Sphinx did not come back. Wow. That is a lot of red cards. Uh, 
this is how little I, I care about Prime Speaker Vanifar. Oh, oh, oh. oh, man, we wanted this Teferi. That's exactly what we wanted Mana Vault and Tundra for. But you know what? Maybe it comes back, you know? It's not. We'll never see it. But we're taking Ancestral. We're taking Ancestral. You know what? I rarely like Torrential Gear Hulk, but with Ancestral and, and Dismember so far, I actually don't think it's terrible here. And I think it's very, very good compared to most of the other cards in this pack. So I'm going to take this Torrential Gear Hulk. And if we can pick up some other things, that's cool too, man. Oh, I like an old I like an old timey counter spell. Ancient Tomb's neat. I think we're just taking counter spell. I think we're kind of changing the direction here. I feel like we're just blue white now, splashing for Oko, which is totally fine. And this also goes well with Torrential Gear Hulk, so I'm in. I'm in for it. Gilded Lotus. Fire, ice. Balance is a thing. Hmm. I think balance is just a little too powerful to pass here. I don't think any of these other cards are close in power level. Oh, I like a Skyclave Apparition, especially with a Flicker Wisp here. Thirst for Knowledge also not bad, but this is probably going to cost us one. Okay, uh, this is a pretty sweet direction. I'm really glad we got Tundra and Flooded Strand now. Uh, Jace Vryn's Prodigy is pretty good. Especially because we have Ancestral. Yeah, we're taking that for sure. Oh, Control Magic. Swords to Plowshares as well. Do you want to steal there? I think this is a more repeatable effect. I think just having a Swords, especially with a Gear Hulk, is just too good. Yeah, we're definitely taking Swords here. All right, I don't know what happened, but we went from... uh. Mana Vault Oko to blue white control pretty quickly. And I think this is just a fine. Hero of Bladehold's just great. Hero of Bladehold's a card where you're like, I don't know if I want to play this, but then every time you play it, it's like, oh, well, this kind of just won the game. Yeah, we're definitely taking Colonnade here. <laughs> I really want that Tefri to come back, but I, I don't think it will. Thousand Year Storm. Not nearly the timeline we wanted. Even unexpectedly absent with Gear Hulk is fine because you can just put the card like. Oh, I think we were actually way past uh, Tefri already, so that's that's something. <laughs> eh, just take Palancron. Eh, Land tax is actually fine. We can play a Forest. Garrick's fine. Day of Judgment is what we're, what we're talking about here. Oath of Druids is interesting. Okay. So, I don't think this is bad so far. I would like a Trop or a Savannah to get, to get our... to get with our Flooded Strand to play our Oko. Oh, Temple Garden. That kind of fits the bill. Shark Typhoon also fits the bill, though. I think we take the Shark Typhoon and hope for the Temple Garden to wheel. I just think Shark Typhoon's a better better option here. Uh, 
Ponder's also good. Chris says lifetime and dedication are solid shops in Denver, in his opinion, but he doesn't know anyone there. Oh, okay. That's still good to know. I will keep that in mind. Well, I'm very disheartened by the lack of that Tefri that we had to pass for a mere ancestral recall, but is Yorian any good? Blink this, blink, we got planeswalkers if they happen to get low, blink a Faith's Fetters, blink a Gear Hulk. Hmm. Actually, I don't think, I mean, like, oh, we're not enough people, like, we have one man of all. I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure I'd rather just play Ballista. I think Ballista is a significantly more versatile card in a deck like this. We also, I think Condemn is also an option. We can Torrential Gear Hulk, Condemn something, and also have a Gear Hulk. Um, yeah, I'll take Walking Ballista. Oh, Treachery? Wow. Super okay with having passed that Control Magic now. That's great. That's just great. What if Sea Chrome Coast or Sun Titan come back? That'd be cool. I do like a Narset. Hmm. I don't think we're time spiraling here, but I will take a Narset. Oh, Council's Judgment? I mean, Preordain's great, but this is one of the best removal spells you can possibly get. Oh, Azorius Signet and an Elspeth? Oh, geez, this is looking... This is like the best the best possible... Che we might even not even be able to play Oko, to be honest. Well, we have Lumbering and Razor Verge Falls. Razor Verge Thicker, rather. I think we're actually going to Azoria Signet here. I think it's just better for our for our four drops. Geist of Saint Traft. I don't think we're a Geist deck, but I actually I think Bane Slayer is fine here. I actually kind of like Bane Slayer. Oh, I, I love Amiria's Call here. I mean, we can take Stirring Wildwood to make our Oko easier. Actually, that might be the play. I don't think Euro's nearly strong enough to, to splash here. I'm going to take the Wildwood. I think it's just... I think being able to play Oko consistently is a little bit stronger. None of these cards are any good. I'll just take Lapse. It's a counter spell. You can hit it with Torrential Gear Hulk as well, so. Oh, Condemn came back? It might be better than Yorion here, right? Yeah, I don't know if we're a Yorion deck. Resetting Narset? I mean, I don't think we need to Condemn. We have a Swords. I'll take a Yorion. Oh, Sun Titan came back. One of the two. Not bad with Oko and Narset in the deck for sure. Shark Typhoon's probably closer to some other drop. Yeah, Tithe Taker is not terrible. All right, this deck's looking pretty decent. I don't know if we're... A, I, don't, I don't think we're a balanced deck, to be honest. Okay, so we need, like, three cuts here. We're definitely playing Oko. The Temple Garden didn't come back. Man, a lot of things we wanted did not come back, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think Yorion is good enough. You're more like a four drop. Actually, now that we've gotten Sun Titan, maybe it is. I think it's probably better than Bane Slayer in the main, right? I also don't think balance is great for us. That's, that's, I, I, I agree with that. 
I also kind of like the idea of being able to go Day of Judgment and then play a land, get a big Cosima back, and draw a few cards. I mean, let's make sure we're Torrential Gear Hulking correctly. Yeah. Five spells, two removal spells. Is that enough? We already have Sun Titan. Um, what does Sun Titan come back? Oko, Narset, Cosima, Skyclay Apparition. This is actually a pretty, pretty decent uh, Sun Titan deck so far. Again, you're a one. You're probably closer to a two. You're closer to a four or a five. I feel like Torrential Gear Hulk is. Now, all the fours are great. Elspeth is great. Hero's great. We want a Day of Judgment because we're a control deck. Faith's Fetters is. I mean, I'd rather cut Torrential Gear Hulk than any of the four drops, which I'm going to do. I fuck, This never just. He never just makes the cut. I mean, like, I love doubling up on Ancestral, but we already have Jace to do that. Sort by Colares. Do I want one forest? Maybe. I really wish Flooded Strand would get a land. Temple Garden would have been great. Savannah would have been great. Nope, don't want that. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, this is solely three green sources is my biggest problem. I think it's five, 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 six, seven, eight, nine blue sources. And then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten, nine plus an Azorius Signet. And then we get to keep the one white for Oko. Yeah, or the one green rather. Yeah, this seems good. Uh, I think the Triumphs should definitely be added, and I have no idea why they're not in here. Like Triomes you get to search for. They're actually awesome with um with like Renin Six because you can cycle them and then return them to the hand, cycle them again. Like it gives you more versatility there. Um they're good to things like Crucible and Ramunap because you can again cycle them, get them in the graveyard easily, and then replay them. Like I think they, they have such f positive interactions with so many um different cards in the cube. Sun Titan, cycle, return them to play. Like, I mean, it's just I'm actually kind of surprised they're not in here. And you can fetch them with all of the fetch lands. Like, Uh, no, I, I don't think you'd ever take out creature lands. There's absolutely no reason to. Um, I think that these lands are just terrible. I, I personally don't like these at all. Like Razor Verge Thicket. The fast lands, I guess they are. Like the Triumphs have to be better than the fast lands. Like it's just... Yeah, we'll keep this hand. It's relatively slow, but... Let's just cast Oko. It's got some positive things going on here.
Okay. Could be a nice Day of Judgment matchup here. We just have to get our Day of Judgment. Oh, dear. Sword Splashers. Oh, that was perfect. Oof. Yeah, that was... Whew, close call. Before, you know, before they have eight mana on turn three. Oh, that's pretty good. I'd love to steal that. Um... Hmm. So I think we either play Cosima, play a land. Like, they're going to be able to equip this and hit us, unfortunately. I mean, we could also... Hmm. Well, I think we actually have to flicker with this, unfortunately. Actually, we can Elspeth make a blocker. Yeah, let's do that. That's probably better. Because next turn, I want to treachery steal the Oracle for the value. Uh, untap, we can flicker with blink this and then hit something else. And I didn't want to block with Skyclave because, well, we have big plans for it, so. Oh man, we're playing against Baby Yoda. Wild. Okay, good. They didn't have a land on top. I like that. Dryad and Sword. They also didn't have a third land, so this is actually really good for us. They Because, yeah, like, the, this was turn four, so when they played Oracle, it was turn three, and they didn't have a third land for Oracle, so they're kind of behind on their landy boys. Okay. So we know two of the five cards in their hand as of next turn. Really? Um, hmm. I'm just going to block here. I mean, I'm definitely stealing Oracle here. Oh, and then we get to also play Lumbering Falls, which is just Chef's Kiss. It's going to be an Oko on top. Ready? It was a Colonnade. He said disappointedly. One, two, three, four, five. So we don't have Sword yet, so I don't really care. So I think we're actually just going to go Cosima here. And then we'll play Colonnade off of that. That doesn't work. She's not in play, right? Yeah, she's not exiled. So I guess the land doesn't matter. But I mean, we're still going to do the same thing. Like, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, considering they're like, yeah, we're definitely bringing in balance here. Probably take out Flicker Wisp. Do we have anything that just deals with sword sword is kind of frustrating i mean bane slayer just might be good by itself walking ballista seems good here we can take out unexpectedly absent i guess that seems fine Okay, I don't hate it. We have counterspell mana, and that's really all you need. We got this guy. 
let's hit that Razor Verge thicket. We can also get a Lumbering Falls. I'm okay with either. It doesn't get a... Dang, that's frustrating. I mean, we're still going to play it. I think it gets a it gets a Tundra, so I'd rather have a Tundra for a Counterspell next turn than... Yes, but do you have Pact of Negation mana? I did. At the time. Oh, dear. Okay, well... I'm just going to crack this in F6. By F6, I mean regular 6, because that's what it is now. Oh, man. Fascinating. Actually, that's a next turn. I, I just can't risk. Like, they're going to have 7 mana if they want to drop, like, a stupid Avenger of Zendikar. Like, I don't really feel like letting that resolve and hoping we draw. Balance or Day of Judgment. Oh god, things are happening. I mean, next time we can go Mana Vault Bane Slayer, which is alright. Oh yeah, that's... Whew, that's even scarier, because, like, that doesn't actually get killed by a Day of Judgment. Hmm. They have one card in hand? Mm -hmm. So we can go Mana Vault. I think it's just Mana Vault Bane Slayer. Is that right? That feels correct, right? Could also just play Cosima and hope that their last like card or two is not grossly terrifying. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably better. Like, we have to assume we're not gonna like if we're assuming we're not losing next turn. <laughs> like just getting Cosima started next turn we can exile play a land. We can still play Bane Slayer. Oh god. Okay, that's fine. Or Oracle on top. Oh good. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, it's actually not the worst, I guess. Yeah, exile you. Play Tundra. Always yield to that. Uh add a counter. Okay, we know they're drawing Oracle. And then they're going to get a free land. And then a Woodfall Primus. Okie dokie. Oracle gone. Play your second land. No, there was no second land. Got Day of Judgment here. One time. Oh my... Oh, we know it's not... We know it's going to be an island. <laughs> oh, good times. So, play this... And a counter again. So now we have two cards in the queue. And she is a 3-6? 4-6? I mean, I think we just have to Bane Slayer here. Because they're just going to play Woodfall Primus next turn and kill this, which means it's just it just gets worse. Plus, like, I'm pretty sure we can race a Woodfall Primus. Hmm. Hmm, boy. Oh, it's Symbiosis is going to be good. Played as a land. Okie dokie. Yep. I mean, it doesn't have reach, so that's good. Get rid of my Signet. Or my Tundra. Signet, sure. Okay, we get a new card, though, so that's kind of cool, right? Unfortunately, if it's a Day of Judgment, it's not great. I do kind of want to just draw cards here. What are we taking? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> so we go to 5. Oh, boy. The problem with drawing cards here is if we draw a green source, it's going to... We've already played our land next turn. 
and I kind of want to be able to at least try to play Oko next turn. The other problem is that our green sources are Stirring Wildwood, a Razor Verge Thicket, and a Lumbering Falls, which means they're going to come into play anyway. Oh, boy. I mean, we get to draw two. But next turn, she does block the Woodfall Primus quite well. So it's an interesting, this is an interesting turn because like we, when we attack, they go to 15, we go to 17. If they attack with everything, we take six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we go to four. If we hold back, they're probably just attacking with Woodfall Primus. And then we go to six. Is us taking two more damage worth them taking five? I don't think so. I'm going to add a counter. I think, like, the extra card next turn is probably going to be better for us. Okay, that's actually fine. Right, we know at the very least they're hitting a Thrag Tusk, so. <sighs> Worst case scenario, they hit a Crater Hoof. I'm going to get rid. I'm going to assume they hit their Crater Hoof. That's... It was just the Thrag Tusk. Beautiful. Beautiful. Why can't Baneslayer be a 6 6 with Pro Tree Folk? You know? Like, I mean, I'm. It seems better, right? Where'd that Kozima at? Exile. Yeah, we're just going to take six here, which is actually seven because of the the mana vault. Isn't it sad that we didn't untap this because we had four mana, we didn't do anything with it? Still no, because now we're going to... Oh! Well, I mean... The problem is, let's say they keep Courser, they sack this, they sack this, they get this guy back, they get this guy back, in a sense. But, I mean, we're losing Oko. I mean, we also, oh, we're going to draw a million cards though, right? Hmm. So we have to discard our hand, right? If we if we don't play. I guess that oh, if we discard our hand, we can't play a land to play Cosima. That's interesting. Can we afford to not do it? No, probably not. Because then we start to we have to start chumping with Woodfall. Actually. We go to eleven, we take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's we can't afford not to do it, no. So we play a land. They do get to keep what if they keep two things? But then we're going to draw a bunch of cards to discard, too. That's the problem. So I think we actually keep Cosima in exile here. And then play balance. Oh, my God. The problem is, in order to play this land, if we balance right now, we're losing both of these, and we don't get to play Cosima this turn. So, that, so if we play the land and put a counter on her, that's the same as discarding the land. If we play the land and bring her back, these are the two options. We play the land, bring her back. We draw three. We go up to five cards. Oko, balance, and three we draw. And we have two creatures. Now they get to keep like Corsair or Felos, Woodfall, Thrag, Tusk. Which is worse. So they're probably keeping Rafelos only and then getting another Woodfall and getting another Thrag, Tusk. Attacking and then balancing without playing the land is just worse than attacking and playing the land, putting an extra counter on Cosima, and then balancing. Because we're discarding our whole hand anyway. Plus, if we do that, we're taking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 next turn, and then we just die. So, like, we're actually just dead. But even so, I'd rather play this land, put another counter on Cosima, then sacrifice it, then just discard it. Like, that's still just, it's still just better to get the extra counter. 
like we can't actually attack here because then they kill us on the crackback. So I think we just play the land. Put a counter on Cosima. I mean, maybe balance isn't the way. Maybe we actually just draw three and have a really big blocker for Woodfall. Like, we know they're just top decking a batter skull. You know what? <laughs> okay. You know what? We're we're on we're on this plan now. So if we attack for five, we make a three three. We go block here. Block here. We take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not great. We can apparition here. Lumbering falls next turn. Let's just play Oko. Oh, they can like batter skull equip. That's not great. What if we let's just skyclave the Oko or the the Rafellos, right? Like that seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, they still have a million mana, right? But we can like quadruple block this guy. Once we get this off the board, the first half, our balance becomes significantly better. So do we attack here? Probably not, no, because we, we literally have the plan of blocking the 10-10 with these two. Yeah, nature's claim is fine. What, well, they got batter skull? They got skull and claim. And that was like the most complicated turn I think we've ever, we've ever had to play in our lives. This is them equipping to Primus. Yep, we, we knew that. So we're going to gain five. We're going to double block. It kills one. And then our balance all of a sudden is not that bad because they can't sack Woodfall Primus for benefit. Interesting. So we're gaining five. We're going to 10. So let's line these up like this, right? And then we take one, two, three, four, five. And we're definitely blocking here. We take five, six, seven, eight. We go to two. We keep only Cosima. They get a bunch of things. This actually seems not terrible. But actually, if we're getting rid of this, we want the actual Skyclave to die if we're balancing. We want them to have way more creatures. Yes, it was probably better to chump the Ragtusk. That is a good point. Yep, that was probably, that's probably going to cost us actually. I assume they're going to hit Tundra here. Cycle this. I just, th I think the card is just more important at this point. I think Mana Vault, like the problem is that now we have to untap Mana Vault or die. Yeah, this is bad. God. Oh, man. Yeah, we should have blocked the rag tusk. It would have given us significantly. Yep. Yeah, we should have blocked the rag. We would have taken two instead of five. So we'd be at five and we'd have significant, significantly more turns. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I think we're just dead here, unfortunately. Yeah. That was bad. Yep. One one incorrect block was uh was what did us in there. That's rough. But they didn't get to see balance, so. That's important. I guess. Man, it's so frustrating. Like, there's so many things going on, and, like, you're trying to, like, balance all these things. You know. Figuratively speaking. It all balances out in the end. You know, that's what we're hoping here. 
I would kill for that. That Temple Garden would have also been game changing. Being able to sack the Tundra to get a Temple Garden and play Oko. I think our deck is actually very well positioned against this deck that we're playing against. We have Mana Removal, Double Sweeper, Imbalance, and Wrath of God. Or Day of Judgment, I don't even know which one's in the deck, actually. Yeah, this hand seems very good. Just another white source for with Council's Judgment. Like, this is just Mono Removal. Like, seems good, right? Hey, look, we found it. Um, Like, if we play Walking Ballista for one, it's just going to incentivize them to not play one Toughness Creatures, which could be fine. But if they're going to play this guy, I'm probably just going to Sky Clave Operation this guy, actually, to be quite honest. We're not going to Walking Ballista this thing. Sky Cave Evolution is such a banger. Land? Come on. Okie dokie. I mean, now we're probably just going to play Walking Ballista for one. <laughs> guy's cradle is solid when you have um you know what I think the four life is more relevant to me than the one damage that I get to deal so sounds good okay well we weren't going to play anything this turn anyway so that's actually fine it gets us closer to to Yorion Michael, you sign into Hulu? Okay. No, I got a notification. Okay. I understand. Nice. Okay, I mean, like, we just have board control here. Like, they're not doing anything, really. I mean, maybe we should have attacked Lumbering Falls, even, just to put the pressure on. It'd be a shame-middle shame if something happened to your... Cr <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh, for two, huh? Yeah, man, you got it. Devoted Druid? Sylvan Karyatid. You know what? I can kill that thing. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know if I want to waste a... Uh, this does give them two mana, keep in mind. Okay. Got he. So, I mean, then they have four, they have six mana, which is like Primeval Titan territory. It's all kinds of nonsense. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm not going to kill this guy, though. It does the same thing, but, like, we can only hold it off for so long, you know? Okay, one, two, three. Hmm. 
I don't think they're blocking, but yeah. It's worth a shot. Face fetters on this lady. Because she's just going to kill whatever we put face fetters on anyway, so. I guess we're going to just fingers cross that. They don't go like Avenger of Zendikar land, right? Like, that's all we're trying to avoid. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I mean, we're definitely going to flip Jace at some point and try to kill that, but... Oh, boy. Fucking cool. Did you top deck that? Like, how did you top deck both of these? I don't know why you didn't play that like 20 turns ago. Like, it's very strange. You've had nothing to do. I guess because you've had four lands and no creature, and now all of a sudden, like, well... Attack Nusa. I mean, I'm really tempted to just kill the forest here. I mean, it makes Guy's Cradle worse. It makes Nissa worse. Like, I don't think I don't know if the the, the mana that we're that we're depriving them of is is even relevant here. This is eight, nine, ten. This is like twelve mana. Like, I don't actually know how we're losing this game. Hi. Oh, good, a Blightsteel Colossus. Fantastic. Hard cast. That's good. That's wonderful. I mean, we have literal Jace on board, so that's kind of an interesting choice. Um, yeah, okay. Draw a card. Discard an island. I mean... Swords is... Oh, we can't play both, can we? Oh, we can play Yorion, I guess. Yeah, we can actually go land Jace Yorion. I mean, we gave them a bunch of life here, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, we definitely have to. Like, no question about that. I'm just trying to figure out what our turn is going to consist of. Um, let's blink Jace and blink Yorion and blink Faith's Fetters just for the life, right? Like, that seems good. Dunsies. Yep, you can have your 2-2. Two -two. Oh, it's non-token, though. It doesn't actually hit anything. That was pretty bad. Yep, okay. Well... That's unfortunate. And we have to put it back on Fraley's. Yep, no targets. That sucks. Wow, God, I always forget their tokens. The non-token clause on this is going to get me. So, I mean, like, we've definitely misplayed this game. I also don't think we attacked, which is bad. So, that was a good turn. That was a solid turn. Well played by everybody. Be sure to take out that tundra so I don't have... Oh, your lumbering falls? Sure. Sure.
Can I get a Day of Judgment and a Plains? The answer is maybe, I guess. And the answer is no. Draw three cards. Not a single land that comes into play. Okay, discard an island. Can't flash anything back, unfortunately. We can kill the stupid Nissa, I guess. So that's cool, and maybe we don't die? I don't even know, buddy. Who knows? All I know is we put two Planeswalkers into play the exact turn after they... Uh, Got Vorin collects of all cards in a play, so that's nice. Always a pleasure. Oh, good. Dire Skull. That's nice. That's nice. Why did Jace come in with only two counters? Because Voron collects as a card that exists. Oh, good. 10-10. Ten, ten. Mm -hmm. Well, mistakes were definitely made this match. Can you boy draw a Wrath of God or a Balance, maybe? That would be cool. Wrath of God here would be... Did I not even activate this? God, I'm fucking terrible, dude. I'm just playing so poorly. But it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's, oh, my God. Oh, We're actually just going to kill the Fraileys. Because if they have, like... Rexage or something. And next time we get to Colonnade? Oh my god, how or next time we get to Sun Titan rather? Oh boy. Are we actually coming back from this right now? Is this a thing? Is this the is this the is this the comeback of a lifetime? Oh my god. What in the earth? They get Oh, yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah, you, you can have all these stupid nerds. They're at 36 million life, which is a lot. And we got an Ancestral in the bin. Oh, we got a Skyclave Apparition, actually? That's really good. Holy bajolies. Let's just make a guy. Play a Sun Toots. So many lands, too. We can get Lumbering Falls back in the future. Oh, yeah, this is the ticket. Oh, yeah, definitely use that. Let's get rid of their Devoted Druid, because that makes the most mana. Neg you. And next turn we can actually draw three with Ancestral? Sure. That guy's attacking. What in the friggin' earth just happened in this game? I'm like kind of blown away here. Hmm. I see. Well, that's cute. All my my whole board is white though, so I'm not like super afraid of that. Flooded strand? Not touching that. Come on, Oko. Treachery? That doesn't do what we want it to do. But that's probably okay, right? This lets us activate stirring. Yeah, we're definitely going to play land here. What can we get here? Lumbering Falls? For sure, that sounds good. 
Uh, yes. <laughs> what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can we can shark typhoon for five here. Let's make sure we've activated both of these. Oh, it's pro green actually. Well, they don't get trample, so that's that's fine. Sure. Can we just kill them here? I feel like it's possible with Shark Typhoon and with uh I feel like they might be dead here. I mean I'm not gonna get ahead of myself, but this is what five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen. 20, 24. Yeah, this is lethal. This is actually insane. Oh, they, oh my god. Oh my god. The timely day of judgment. What in the earth? Oh my god. That was incredible. What in the earth, man? Earth, man. All right, let's uh, let's take it for another spin. I paused the video so you guys on YouTube don't even know that I just ordered tacos and went out and chatted with Katie and Michael, and you guys have no idea. Oh, join match. That was the quickest join match ever that's ever happened. Uh, Yeah, we'll keep. And we're on the play. Oh man, unbelievable. Okay, okay. Well, that's gonna be our third land, not our second land now. Okay. Well, I'm not playing that thing. The problem is with Walking Ballista is that once you play it for more than two, it gets really awkward when you just keep two up. You're like, oh, I'll just play it for two and keep a counterspell mana. And they're like, well, but why? Well, don't worry about it. Might charcoal it. Charcoal. <laughs> I might cycle this shark typhoon. I might charcoal the typhoon. That do anything? And by might, I mean we're doing that. Oh, cool. Thanks. Don't be another land. You know what? All right. I'll deal with it, I guess. We're just maximizing our blue mana here. Really, this is how you're going to be? I mean, that seems very dangerous. A lot of more people have been playing Oath of Druids, and I'm kind of wondering if I just want to add it to my queue because it's kind of a cool card. That, like, if you build her around it, <laughs> you know what? The, the weirdest thing about, the the hard thing about, okay, you're cycling that? Sounds good. Oh, wow. You're going to regret that now, my dude. Because I got, oh, man, we were going to play Ancestral and you would have had, oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> Letting that resolve is just also chef's kiss. So many chef's kisses. Yeah, that's fine. 
I mean, we have Faith's Fetters, and we're going to draw Oko here, so that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We didn't, but that's okay. We were just... Bless you, babe. I wonder if they're going to counter this to prevent us from activating Colonnade. Because Colonnade and Shark just kill Oko. What do they have with these two? I guess they can Vendillion click the Shark. You know what? I'm risking it. It's, I think it's fine. Because they can't bounce Colonnade because it's not on land, so. They can't remand. They can remand Shark to, or uh, Repeal, rather. So, Repeal or Brazen Borrower is just really what we don't want to see, but. Okay, so nothing? What? What are these plays? <laughs> In response, I'll gain three life. Okay, well, I mean, that's your right to do, I suppose. I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh, Jace? Ancestral? Mm. That is the thing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't draft any distresses. That's my bad. Okay. You're going to counter this? Commit. Sure. I wonder if we're all drawing seven here. I mean, they only draw one if they commit to memory, or if they memory, I guess. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, they have a black now. So things are looking, looking a little dicier. The problem is I really don't know what to play around. We've seen Oko, Miscalc, Oath of Druids, and Commit to Memory. <coughs> I also was thinking face fitters on shell dock. Hey, look, it's the Elspeth again. Um, let's get rid of Mana Vault. We're at 21. I mean, they can go like ancestral themselves, activate shell dock. They did not. All right, I literally don't know what's going on here. Uh, snap swords that thing. <laughs> That's not not a chance in the world that that, that thing lives. Okay. I mean, we have Jace Friends Prodigy, so they draw two, but they go to like eight. 
I mean, we could have done that during our turn, but I really didn't really want to waste the mana. Sure, you can draw two, I guess. I mean, can we kill them here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I think this is just lethal, to be honest. We'll just discard day. Sure. Draw two more. So many cards. Um, oh, I guess we... Um, hmm. <laughs> so if we give this guy float, we attack with everything. They take six, they go to five. That doesn't do it. I mean, swordsing this thing is the only real option, but they did just draw four cards. So that's kind of rough. So they go to 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10. We can do this for five. Let's us keep our Jace as well. Quite a few options here, and I'm actually kind of disappointed that I let them draw four cards. <laughs> I guess, I mean, like, what's the big, I mean, like, they're going to draw a card next turn, so you've been at six. I mean, I don't know if there's that big of a difference between ten and six, but. I mean, there's an argument to swordsing it, and there's also an argument to just playing Day of Judgment and attacking with Colonnade, plusing Elspeth and putting them to... Yeah, honestly, I think we're Day of Judgmenting, which again, might have been a mistake to discard, but. And we did not play a land, just to be clear. No, okay, good. I mean, because this puts them to four, and then they're dead to walking ballista. Or colonnade, so. And they got ten cards. If they're going to be able to do something, they should be able to do it. But they also have to deal with a flyer that's a land, so they have to deal with a flyer at sorcery speed. Mox Jet goes well with your Oko. That seems fine, so long as you don't have a counter spell for our walking ballista. We can play around mana leak here. It's actually pretty decent. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Seems good. Got rid of Faith's fetters. Okie dokie. Sure. This guy's dying anyway, so. I mean, they're still dead to walking ballista in some 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 scenario that exists if we're able to cast it. Yep. And they're attacking me. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We need eight. So we can't keep eight around. So walking ballista is no longer an option. Two, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, nope, need a second. Six. Any order, sure. If they have time walk here, it's really good for them. Oh, they get an extra turn. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> yep, magic is cool. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Good times. Absolutely. Just fantastic. I feel like we definitely threw that game away. I actually think we probably should have taken this member out. Ironically, I don't want to cast Walking Blister here because they have Oath of Druids. I guess it doesn't matter if we play if we play Oath of Druids, we just sack it. So, Dan, Dan's, what are these emotes? These are like your emotes are so weird. All right. Mm -hmm. Another white would have been nice, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Hey, we got it. Look at us go. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I'll just take one for now. If they want to kill this, I'm not going to let... Mike Arnold, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. Thank you, brah. Man, I wish I had a three-mana Tefri here so I could just ruin their day.
This guy's getting big. He's a big boy. But just two, two. Did they miss a land drop? Yeah, they did. Nerd. Yeah, just gonna pass here again. Thank you. You got it. Oh my god, Dan's with a gifted sub. What a treasure. Thank you. Yep. Fancy art. Thank you for the reset, buddy. That includes seven months of the time before the world ended. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate you sticking with me through the end of the world. Yep, you got it. Take a gander before you show and tell. Actually, show and tell is probably not going to do what you think it does. This actually strikes me as a deck that is trying to show and tell here. Mox Jet. Okay. Sure. Yeah, okay. Sure, everything's happening. I mean, we're, we're, what have we seen? We've seen, <clears throat> I think we saw days. I should have definitely done this the other way, but that's okay. Oh, you're gonna count on this? You got it. Okay, so we're just gonna assume it's a second Emrakul underneath there, because God, that would just be perfect for him, right? Let's see. Are you ready? Actually, that's pretty good. Boy, they're really killing it with the with the reanimation here. Mole Drifter. You already have six cards in hand. What is even happening right now?
Well, I can't cast both of these. So I guess just Faith's Fettering the Oko? Or we can Skyclave Apparition, put two counters on, put a counter on this guy to start blocking things. I don't know what clear Oko save fetters means. I think we're just going to Skyclave and put a counter on this guy. It gives us more bodies on the board. Plus, I want this guy to die before we cast, like, Day of Judgment. And this, like, prevents Oko from ever coming back, so... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to attack with Oracle on my turn. Okay, cool, man. Why even say that? <laughs> like, <laughs> okie dokie. You got it. What a fucking weirdo, dude. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow. That's fucking next level cringe right there. Like, why is like you like it took you longer to type that out than to just actually hit OK and go to your turn and actually do it. That's amazing. Super cringe, dude. Uh, but what if, and think about it, he's very smooth brain. It's just, I'm just like kind of like blown away. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> what a strange encounter. What cube home what what's cube homie? What what are you saying, Ryan? Do you think Mark Cuban is good at Cuban? No, not not I not no I don't. Not really. Uh, yeah, all right. I'm in. <laughs> I'm going to attack with Evercall on my turn. <laughs> Fucking big brain over here. Jesus. Oh, what up, little Watson? What are you doing in here? Sneaking away? Does your mom know you're in here, little butt? Did your mom fall asleep on the couch? God, I bet she... Oh, mom's tired of you. Oh, a puppy? Yeah, he's right here. No, dude, they literally typed it in the chat. He was like, I'm going to attack with Emrakul on my next turn. Like, and I was like, cool. Like, it was such a fucking weirdo thing to say. 
it was like a still had all these before you actually won. <laughs> it's like, all right, man, you got it. Good for you. You really live in your best life. Oh, good. How nice. Get in there. Yeah, if oh, you got it. Liliana's verdict. Try, yeah, that's exactly what we're. I mean, Cosima's just gonna draw us more cards eventually. So if this is like the best you got here, that's totally fine with me. I feel like you 100% attack there because Cosima's just going away. Oh boy, let's let's cast that. That's a card I like. Um, play another island. Always yield to that. Add a counter. And we'll just pass here. This is three more cards. This is another Ancestral in hand. You know, two more cards for two lands. And then uh, one brings her back. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fine. I'm not thrilled about it. They're, I got they got the fear of the lumbering falls. That's actually pretty decent. We can add a counter. I mean, I think we're actually in pretty good shape. Like, if they play anything big, we can day of judgment or sort or steal it. Cosima doing some work though. I mean, it's a little slow, but in a slow grindy game like this, you're just. It's not a huge deal. Yeah, I'll let that guy resolve just because we're going to Day of Judgment soon anyway, so. Also, if they don't hit a land here, it's very strong. Oh, wow, they hit a, they hit a good twofer. So it's turn seven. They've missed two land drops, but the one land they draw after Omnath. Dual land. Fetch land, not dual land. What is the alternative to letting it resolve? I don't know. Not letting it resolve. It's kind of annoying. I'm, I'm actually kind of wishing I unexpectedly absent this with the trigger on the stack for polluted delta. <sighs> Oh, that's unfortunate.
I kind of like Day of Judgment. Bring back Cosima here. Okay, well, drawing two lands off of that and three lands off of our Ancestral Recall. That seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen lands. We have four lands left in our deck. That's pretty good. Oh, good. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, that's actually pretty decent. Hmm. I guess we can just activate Colonnade, right? It gets the same job done without wasting a card. Well, now they can start attacking with Raging Ravine. Well, they did not. I have four cards in hand? I have no idea what's going on. Sure. Can I have this? That was a good choice. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I'm sure they have an answer for scavenging ooze. Oh, wow, they're tapping that instead of the green? That seemed bad. Okay. Yeah, that was that was great for us. Wow. <laughs> Definitely should have tapped Lumbering Falls there. It's delicious. They have four cards, we have one card. We do have a Hero of Blade Old, though. And a Colonnade. It's kind of sad that we've drawn two extra cards off Cosima and three off an Ancestral Recall. And I still feel like we're kind of far behind here. I guess, oh, well, hold on, one, two, three. They have six lands. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten lands. So four of, four of those extra spells were just lands. That's unfortunate.
don't know what's going on here. This is taking a while. Hold on, let me close this window. Oh, we're just going to cast him as a man. Play him as a man. Gripping Tarpet, huh? Hmm. That is fascinating. Oh, I think they have six here. So... Um, fuck. Battle cry goes on first. That's always correct. Interesting. Five. Okay. Well, they're at three. So that feels good. Like you do. I mean, even if they wipe the board here, we still have lumbering. We have colonnade, which is good. So that's cool. Opponent is just going to cast Emrakul next turn. <laughs> I'm going to attack with Emrakul next turn. All right, man. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's everything you ever wanted it to be. Oh, all right, win the game. I like it. Okay, so they have a bunch of crazy lands. Um, I kind of like Tithe Taker here just because they do have Liliana's Triumph, which makes two tokens, which is pretty good. So we don't just lose like a good card um day of judgment still feels fine i like dismember because it does get rid of their man lands their creature lands which is i mean they have a bunch of them so i almost don't mind torrential gear hulk but they have scavenging ooze which makes that worse oh what up mcgimp Everything else seems fine. I could probably cut absent. I actually think balance, if they're gonna rack us return us, balance might make the cut. Yeah, let's play balance here. Cause they're gonna have more creatures than us regularly. And they're also going to, uh, if they're like rack us return your hand, I'm gonna be like, all right, rack us return your hand. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not sleeping all these tokens. I sent McGimp uh, like 30 franc tokens for my TCG player tokens. This is nice, just get to play a Jace here. We have a good amount of lands to be pitching too, which is kind of nice. Best part about looting is when you have enough lands to just throw them away. It's more like 400. What creature? Um, so I wanted to make sure he just had enough, you know, if he's playing Elspeth, or if he's playing, you know, whoever. Marshall Coup for 40 in a commander game. Whatever, man. I just wanted to make sure he was covered. Wow, Vindicate, huh? Well, see, this is exactly what I wanted to draw with the flooded. Frank is getting upset. So now like, we no longer have any ways to loot. We drew the best possible land we were going to get with Flooded Strand. And uh, we drew a land as well. So, you know. Land? Walking Brolista. I'm actually just going to play this and thin our deck a little bit. Two, three. One, two, three. I guess it doesn't really matter here. 
Man, they got Colonnade too. They got Colonnade, Raging Ravine, Lava Claw Reaches, and Creeping Tarpet that we've seen. It's excessive. Here's a stirring wildwood. Yeah, that guy's good. Hold a delta. Yep. But he has Niv Mizzet. I mean maybe. Yeah, I would make sense actually. I could I could I could see that. It's actually a somewhat awkward play. I think we're just going to shoot their face because... Does it matter? What's the difference? I mean, the nice thing is we have Dismember and Apparition for both of his things. They're going to rack us return our hand here for three. Maybe four. Who knows? Maybe they just murderous ride. And they just needed the black up for that. Okay. Okay. Excuse, excuse me. And I'm probably just going to face fetters this thing unless we draw like flicker wisp. Tithe taker. Walking Ballista. Interesting. I'm actually going to kill this. Like, this is just going to get as big as this guy in no time. Plus, I mean, we can just Flicker Wisp this guy. There's, there's more options. I mean, this is a lot of damage. Would love a card that's not terrible. This is exactly why they should have gotten rid of this guy. Yeah, we're definitely getting Jace to mine. Or, yeah, Jace is, Jace is better than the other one here because, again, Skyclave can't get rid of this. And uh, we don't really care about getting rid of the the other gentleman. I'm just going to play my land because we know they have Rakdos' to return. And having just a random land in hand doesn't really benefit us. So Don't kill my Sun Titan. I would really appreciate it if you didn't have Elspeth Conquer's death here. 
If you did, I can't imagine you played in such a way that you can't. Murderous Rider too, right? Like that seems just terrible. I mean, I'm just blocking here because if like we we can get this guy back next turn anyway, and I'm not really going to risk like Sun Titan. And they, we know they have Burst Lightning, so. I don't even know what's happening right now. This feels like it. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Well, they have one card in hand, so that's good. And it's just a recall off top. Eh, Yorian, not the worst, but their Raging Arena is a 5-5. Five five. Significantly better last turn, and we can blink Jace, blink Faith's Fetters. <laughs> We're not, not going to play it, because then we just die. Not great, Bob. Not great, Bob! Yep, that is the dude we were afraid of. This is going to be hard to deal with. I mean, like, we can draw Ancestral into Sword, obviously, that's good. And we're not blocking. Oh, what up, antibody? Uh, has all the snow melted? No, not even close. It literally just came down yesterday. Yep, I'm just going to go to the next game here. That's unfortunate. We could chump block for a turn, then draw Flicker Wisp, which does nothing. Okay. Remember that time we had Oko in our deck and Mana Vault and we never drew those? That's me too. I think Baneslayer might be just better than Yorion here. I mean, the 5-5. Five, five. Life, Link, and Lady. All right, we're going to get Tundra immediately here. I'm not even messing around. Yield until next end step. Okay. Oh, nothing again? Nice. Like it. I mean, I'm tempted to make a 1 1 shark here, but it's not very exciting. I'd rather just have a 3 3 shark. I do kind of like that. I don't want to just lose a Cosima to a um, to a stupid Liliana's Triumph that we know they have. Uh, it was about 24 inches of snow. Yeah, 2-2 two -two is right where I want to be, I think. Siggy. kind of think we just hold the land, to be honest. Oh, they did not have removal. They could Day of Judgment here. That's fine. It's a one for one. Like, this was free. <laughs> this drew us a card and. All 
right. Well, fascinating, if nothing else. I mean, they have nothing in their graveyard, too, so I'm not like... Elspeth, when you have nothing in your graveyards, it's okay. It's just kind of like an expensive Oblivion Ring. The problem is if they play something and we kill it. Actually, we just want to... I mean, I, I kind of just want them to attack with, like, Tar Pit or Colonnade. <laughs> For the dismembers. Okay, and also Shambling. They have like six creature lands. They also have uh, Raging Ravine, Lava Claw Reaches, and I'm trying to think of the other one. Okay, more lands. Sounds good. You got it. And Elspeth Conqueror's death goes to the graveyard with no effect. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear. Okay, murderous rider. Did anyone have dismember? I don't know what's going on here. All right. Interesting to attack with this guy instead of Tarpit, but right, I'm definitely gonna kill your creature lands. Okay, good. Just keeps on, keep on coming, lands. Keep on coming. This deck seems good, but when you don't draw any of your good cards like uh, Oko or <sighs> Mana Vault early, for some reason it gets harder to. Win games. I don't know what's going on with this match. Like, this is, they have five cards. They're playing that untapped. Oh, is this finally to miss it? No. Does a Rakdos return for a million because you have nothing else to do with your mana? Yep, looks like it. Sure. You got it. Seems good. One, two, three, four. I mean, is it possible they just don't have an answer for Lumbering Falls? No, but I mean, they have, yeah, I'm like, we know they have Burst Lightning, Vindicate, and Liliana's Triumph in their deck, so. <laughs> I 
Yep, seems good. Oh, they didn't attack with that guy. Hey, we got a tithe taker out of the deal. Look at us go. Here we go. Something else? What is this? Explosion expansion? Nope. I have no idea. Maybe. No. Maybe. I'm sure it is. Hydroid crosses for seven. And the game is now out of our reach. We get double counters on there. 14-14. Treacheries in the graveyard because they had rack tester turn. Good deal. Land? Flicker Wisp. It's actually surprisingly not the worst thing we could have drawn there. Mm, see this, into this, into this. I mean, they have five cards and we have one, so. Well, there's a price difference between the two, so. No. <sighs> Not sure what we're doing about this. Uh, we're taking like five going to four here. Gets rid of Vorinclex, I guess, but I mean, mono creature lands dot deck. I don't know why you didn't also attack with Lava Claw Reaches here, but I don't know. Sometimes who needs to win, right? Looks familiar. Personally, I've never seen him on my side of the board, but okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Hopefully you guys had a good time. This was not the best draft I've ever done or the best draws or the best opponents, but uh, what can you do? Sometimes you just tell your opponent you're going to put Emrakul into play and attack with him the next turn because you really have nothing else going on in your life. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.